let me move on to the next part. The next part is what I call the needs analysis, right? Needs, I know it's spelt funny, but it stands for now, enjoy, alter or change, decision and schedule. And so this is a, a consultative approach that is exploratory that if you're spending, you know, 45 minutes with someone, if this is over a lunch time, if this is a, you know, um, um, a planned meeting, uh, this really will allow you to build the momentum to be able to attract somebody. And so the now, that can be the to me part, right? Uh, but I, I need to know some factual uh, elements of your current business, right? So, so I need to know how do, how do things work now? And it might be, how's your relationship with your broker? Um, you, know, uh, you know, how many sales did you do in the last 12 months? How many of those, you know, where are those sales coming from? Right? Is it all repeat business? Are you using technology? Um, one of my favorite parts of doing this is, you know, if I said, well, how many sales did you do in the last 12 months? And someone says 24. You know, I can say, well, you know, um, uh, how do you feel about that number? I don't want to say, man, that's a great number because it might be half of what they want to do or half of what they need to. Um, you know, how do you feel about that number? And they go, man, it's great. It's twice, twice of what I did last year. And yeah, so what's your goal this year? 36. Great. Um, so I want to be in curiosity. I want to stay in curiosity. But if they said, if they told me they did 24 deals in the last 12 months, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to say just, uh, um, uh, just to satisfy my curiosity, um, what buckets did those sales come from? Um, you know, are, are they, you know, uh, how many of those came from personal sphere? Oh, 20 of them. Wow. How many of them came through uh, online marketing, like Trulia, Zillow, uh, something like that? None. I don't do that at all. Gotcha. Gotcha. And uh, where, where did the other four come from? Well, I got two as a referral, um, you know, from a family member. Um, one was uh, a, a, a multifamily uh, I had bought personally, and, um, and one came off of a, um, a sign call of one of my listings. Okay. So by going through that process, what I can find out is none of them came from their broker or their brokerage affiliation. That's important for me to know, right? Um, in the now part, I want to know, um, you know, how does the money work there? You know, what kind of split on are you on? And don't be fooled. I mean, I've had people tell me they're on a 90-10 split, but they weren't on 90-10 all year. They reset to 70, 30, and then they, then they got bumped to 75% and 80%, 85%, and they end up on 90, 10. And at the end of the year, they, you know, reset to 70, 30. I've also had people tell me that they're on a 90, 10 split and they did 500,000 of GCI. And so 10% of 500,000 is 50,000. So they've paid their broker 50,000. Here, the cap would be 16. And so sometimes people will get discouraged if someone says, well, I'm on a 90-10 split. And they go, wow, well, we're 80-20. You know, and, and they, they don't continue digging. So knowing how things work is very important. Um, you know, some companies, they have a 6% royalty. And so you know, if I do you know, 300,000 in gross commission, 6% uh, is going to be 18,000 just in royalty even before I pay my first dollar to my broker and my split. And so knowing, knowing how things work are very important. And so I want to know um, how much volume did they do? How does that relate to what their goal is? How much money did they make? How does that relate to how much money they produced? I want to ask them about their goals. When I ask about goals, I, um, I always ask it this way. And so what's your goal for the next 12 months? They always, you know, they'll tell me. So let's say they said 30 sales. Then I ask this question. In a perfect world, what would your goal be? Because most people will say that their goal is a number that is more um, conservative than what they would really like to have in their wildest fantasies. But I really want to know what, what is their vision goal? 
So in a perfect world, what would your goal be for the next 12 months? And so let's say they said, you know, 40 transactions. Then I'm going to ask this question. What's the number one thing stopping you from getting there? Right? Because if I can solve that by them coming to eXp, then they can make more money. All right. Let's move on to the phase that I call enjoy. And so the premise of this part of the conversation is what do they like? What do they enjoy about their current situation? And it might be they enjoy their split. They might enjoy the education. They might enjoy uh, their relationship with their broker. They might enjoy that their friends work there. They might enjoy the location of the office. They might uh, uh, enjoy that it's a short commute from where they live, whatever it might be. And so I never want to help them list out all the things that they enjoy. I just ask the question, well, what is it that you like most about working at ABC Realty? And I let them tell me whatever they tell me. If they tell me one thing, five things, I just make a note of it. Because they're going to have to have the same satisfaction on those elements in being here. Now, if they love working for their broker, they won't necessarily work for their broker here. However, they could love working with people that are here. Right, So I know I need to get them connected with people in the local market or people on staff or people like them across the country using the cloud office, but I just know that's going to be part of the process. And so what do you enjoy about your current situation? So that's an important part of the conversation. The alter part of the conversation um, it really stands for alter or change. And so the way you would get into that would go something like this. Well, what would you alter or change about your current situation if you could wave a magic wand? And this is where people will typically sell it short, right? Because if they could think of a lot of things that they would change, they would have changed. And so when someone says, I'm really happy with my broker, I couldn't imagine going anywhere else, what they're really saying is, I can't imagine anything that I would change. Right? And so this part of it is really important. And so what would you alter or change in your current situation? The answer typically will be, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy. So now it's my job to start pulling things out. And I want to pull out things that I know that EXP can solve. So would you rather have a higher split? What do you think most agents are going to say to that? Of course, right? If they're not on 80-20 or higher, they'd like to be on 80-20. If I now know that they, they're paying, let's say, 30000 to their broker in their split, would you like to know that you could pay less than 30000 Yes. Who wouldn't want to pay less? If I found out that the biggest roadblock that they have to achieving their goals is not knowing how to do internet lead generation, or maybe they don't know how to prospect for sale by owners, or maybe they don't know how to get into the military market, or something like that, right? You know, would, if, you, know, would you like to have more exposure to training that could help you learn more about the thing that you said that you need to grow your business? Yes. How about equity? Do you currently have any equity in your brokerage? Well, no, I don't, Dave. Gotcha. Well, you've been there 12 years. I'm sure all the business that you've done there lends credibility to that brokerage. Would you, would you prefer to have equity versus no equity? Well, of course. All right. How about sharing of the revenue? You know, again, you've been there 12 years. I'm sure that your reputation has allowed your broker to attract other people. 
You know, I'm sure they use you as an example of someone who came here doing, you know, five deals a year and now you're doing 24 deals a year. And so they say that it's, you know, their training that, you know, made you great. And that's why other agents should come to the firm. Uh, do they share any of the revenue that comes into the brokerage based on the people that ended up there because of your reputation? No, they don't. Well, would you, would you, would it be better for you and your family if you did? Oh, yeah, it would. Right? So just by going through this, I can start planting the seeds of the things that they could change that they didn't know they could. How about this? Would you like to be able to have more personal branding on your yard signs? I got to tell you, I went by that beautiful listing on Main Street that you have, you know, the one that's on the market for $800,000. And the sign on that property looks like every other sign in your office. I saw your rider up there, but it's pretty small. And let's face it, most people who call in off the sign call the main number, right? How many, how many buyer leads do you think you're missing a year because people aren't calling you direct? So in a perfect world, if you could change things, wouldn't it make sense for you to have your own sign and brand yourself more? And so I can just go through and on and on and on all the cool things that they could have if they were here. But I'm, I'm laying it out without, you know, directly telling them how great EXP is and how horrible their current situation is. All right. And so the next part is the decision phase. And so everything that I did before this is important because this is how it goes. And so, um, Jeannie, uh, uh, you know, if you could still enjoy this and this, right? If you could, couldn't, if you still could enjoy, you know, uh, a short commute and, um, you know, being able to do uh, business with your friends, uh, but you could also get stock in, in the company, share in the revenue, get training on how to get more leads, um, you know, on listings to be able to get more signs in the ground, um, to uh, have it be personally branded to drive more leads for you, to get training and education on building that team that you've been wanting to build. Um, you know, if you could do all of that, um, you know, wouldn't you want to, um, you know, be able to do that? And so um, I'm, I'm saying, you know, you're not giving up everything that you love. You're gaining everything that you want. Um, you know, would it make sense for you to um, make that change? If I get a no, I want to drill down on the whys because I need to handle that. If I get a yes, then I'm, I'm going into the benefits of being here, right? Or I'm scheduling the next meeting to do their onboarding. All right, let me stop it there, open it up for conversation, dialogue, questions. Uh, I just have a quick question for you there. Sure, Tom. Good question, Tom. So, you know, for, for most people, they're going to be doing most of their attraction in their local marketplace. And so once you know how it works, for example, at KW or Remax or Coldwell Banker, um, um, then you know how it works, right? But even with, you know, Remax and Coldwell Banker, for example, um, th their, their things vary wildly um, office to office. 
um, it's very common, for example, at Remax that they ha they have the old-fashioned Remax model. They have a Keller Williams model to compete with them. They have a traditional brokerage model, and that's just to name a few. Um, and so, you know, knowing how it works locally um, allows you once you know where the strengths and weaknesses are then you can decide to then have conversations with all the good agents in that firm and now you know and you're gaining more knowledge. Um, so that's what I recommend for those people that are looking to build out their group locally. When you're, you know, like yourself, Tom, you have so many connections across the country, there's no way that you're, you're going to be able to have the knowledge to know how everything works. And so if you follow this type of pattern, Right? How does it work now? What do you like about it? What would you change? Through that process, you'll learn more about them. Make sense? Got it.